So many women are wondering if they're pregnant or are they PMS symptoms that they're experiencing right now? Just how do you tell the difference? It's such a fine difference to be really honest, but there's definitely four sure ways which I can help you with to tell the difference. Hi, I'm Vicky from Oh My Mama Body. Now, I just love explaining pregnancy symptoms and postpartum symptoms to mums to really help you to enjoy your pregnancies and precious time with your newborns. If you're new here to my channel, then remember to press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Let's start with pregnancy cramping versus PMS cramping. Now, I know the difference between these. I was pregnant seven times, and for me, the difference was really, really clear. When you have PMS, it's like a dull feeling in your womb, like getting heavier and heavier and going downwards. That's PMS. If you've got pregnancy cramping, the cramping is stretching. It's stretching like this way, and especially in your back area, it's really pulling from side to side because it's your uterus starting to expand. So the difference is either a sinking feeling, a heavy feeling, or more of a twingy pulling feeling. The second sure sign is the position of your cervix. So your cervix is the mouth to your womb, and it does function like a mouth. So what happens during your menstrual cycle is it changes shape and position. When you're ovulating, the mouth to your womb, the cervix, is high and soft. Now, if it stays like this, then you have conceived. If it drops down again and gets then harder, then you're preparing for your menstrual period. So if you're more in tune about where your cervix is, if you're used to inserting tampons, then you'll know, you'll feel it during menstruation because it is so low down. If you're okay with having a feel for your cervix and where it's positioned, it's best to do it whilst taking a shower. Now, if it's a few days before when your period is due and your cervix is still feeling high and soft, then it's a really good sign that you have conceived. Now, what does the softness feel like? Um, think about your earlobes, that kind of soft. Um, and what would be hard would be like the tip of your nose. There is a fine difference between how those two feel. So again, if your cervix is high and feeling soft like your earlobes, then it's a sign of conception. If it's lower down and feels harder like the tip of your nose, then it's a sign that you're about to menstruate. A third sure sign is if you get implantation bleeding. Now, not all women do get implantation bleeding. Implantation bleeding is when the fertilized egg is traveling down into your womb and attaching to the wall of your womb. Now, it could disturb some like blood vessels on the way and when implantation happens as well, it could cause a tiny bit of bleeding. Now this type of bleeding shows up as spotting, which is a small amount of blood. And normally this blood is a dark, dark brown color, like a rusty color. Now implantation bleeding will only last from between two hours and up to two days. It shouldn't be any longer than that. And it could happen between six to 12 days after conceiving which is a bit earlier than when your normal menstrual cycle starts. I know menstrual cycles also start off with light spotting. So if your light spotting does turn into more blood and red blood, then you know that your period is coming. Whereas implantation bleeding is a short amount of light spotting. The fourth sign is the actual point of implantation. Now, implantation could happen on the left side of your room or on the right side of your room, and it will feel like a sharp stabbing pain. I mean, not too bad, but you'll really notice that there's like a pinprick happening on one side of your room. Now, this could last up to two days as well, and it's a completely different feeling to what you'd get with any kind of PMS cramping because it is a noticeable pain on one side. 
Now, these four signs were always very, very clear to me. Of course, only a positive pregnancy test can really prove if you're pregnant or not. So even if you have got all of the signs, you still have to wait until you can get that second line on your test to be able to really see if you're pregnant. Keep an eye on the type of symptoms you're having before your missed period. I've got another video with 12 symptoms of pregnancy before a missed period. Everything that happened to me and I knew that I was pregnant even before a pregnancy test could really show me. If you have any questions at all, please write to me below in the comments. I love hearing from you and answering any questions that you've got. Also, come and join my Facebook group, Oh My Mama Body on Facebook, where you can chat with other women and keep updated on a daily basis with all sorts of things around motherhood and pregnancy. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.